Hello, I'm here at the Crumbs and Doilies shop in Soho and here at Crumbs and Doilies we are massive fans of unicorns, as I'm sure you are too because everyone loves unicorns. Um, and everyone knows that unicorns eat rainbows, otherwise how does their poop get so colourful? Um, but they're probably quite bored of rainbows by now after you know, centuries of eating them. So with that in mind, we here at Crumbs and Doilies invented the unicorn cupcake and I am going to show you guys how to make it. Just take these off for now. Put them back on later when I've created the unicorn cupcake. Um, so I'm going to get on with making the sponge. Now this is going to be slightly different to how we do it here at Crumbs and Doilies. I'm pimping it up for you, especially. Um, I'm going to marble the sponge this time. Normally we do um, a funfetti sponge. If you want to learn how to make that, then click the link now. Um, but for now, I've just got a small bowl here and I'm going to put 125 grams of self-raising flour in the sieve. Along with the same amount of caster sugar. And I'm going to shuffle that through the sieve along with a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. And to that I'm going to add 125 grams of soft unsalted butter. And a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm going to beat that all together with two large free range eggs. I'm using a handheld whisk today, but you can use your freestanding mixer if you want. You can even do it by hand, it'll just take a bit longer. And once it's had about a minute beating, it's time to get the milk ready, because we need to add milk and food colouring to make that really lovely marble effect. So I'm just going to put that to one side. And I have three bowls here. I've got uh, one with some blue food colouring, one with some yellow, and one with some pink, and some whole milk. And I'm going to put half a tablespoon into each bowl and give it a really good mix. And now that it's all mixed in really well, I'm going to divide my batter into three. It's about 160 grams. I'm just going to eyeball it for now. And then using a clean spoon, I'm going to just gently fold the colour through the batter. Now I'm trying to be gentle here because I don't want to knock any of the air out, otherwise I'll have flat cakes. And this is all really thoroughly mixed, so now I'm going to put each of those colours into a small piping bag. I'm not using a nozzle because I'm just going to cut the end off. So now I'm just going to snip the ends off with the scissors and get piping. So obviously you're going to put one blob of each colour into the bottom of your cupcake case, so it's important to leave enough room for the pink and the yellow. And also try and get as equal amount as possible in each case. So just keep going until you've used up all your batter, and this should be enough batter for 12 cupcakes. And then using a toothpick, I'm just going to wiggle those colours a little bit together to create that marble effect. And once you've wiggled all of them, you just need to bake those at 170 degrees for about 20 minutes. So my cakes have come out of the oven and they're completely cool now, so it's time to get them all together and make them more unicorny. So to start with, I'm going to fill them with marshmallow fluff. You've probably seen that in the shops or heard about it. You can buy it in most supermarkets now and it's going to add a cloud-like filling to this unicorn cupcake. So I'm going to make a hole in each of my cupcakes using an apple corer. And I've, ooh, I've already got my marshmallow fluff in a piping bag so I'm just going to squirt that directly in there. And 
and once they're all filled, it's time to top them. And I'm using Swiss meringue buttercream, which I already have in a piping bag, which I'm using a star nozzle to make it really pretty. And if you would like to know how to make Swiss meringue buttercream, then click on the link. So now that I've covered them all in my Swiss meringue buttercream, I'm going to finish them off with a sprinkles. And they're nearly perfect. There's just one thing left to pop on the top, and that is little rainbow meringue kisses. If you'd like to know how to make these, you can click on the link. I did a video a few months ago, and they're really, really easy. And there it is, the cutest little colourful rainbow unicorn cupcake that I've ever seen. And the best bit about it is, it's colourful all the way through. Mmm, yummy. Mm. I love Swiss meringue buttercream. It's so silky and delicious. Mmm, and fluff inside. The unicorns are going to love it. They get a look in, obviously. I might eat them all first. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy making these and next time you see a unicorn, obviously after you've Instagrammed it of course, don't forget to give me a unicorn cupcake, which means you obviously have to have one on yourself at all times, just in case. I'll be back next week with another recipe for you guys, until then don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the link at the end. See ya!